Hi everyone, today we will do legal dictation exercise number 28. So ready? Start. One of the judicially evolved test to determine whether in substance an order of term termination is punitive is to see whether prior to the termination there was a full-scale formal inquiry into allegations involving moral turpitude or misconduct which culminated in a finding of guilt. If all three factors are present, the termination has been held to be punitive irrespective of the form of the termination order. Conversely, if any one of the three factors is missing, the termination has been upheld. In para 29 of the judgment, it further held thus SCC P 529. Before considering the facts of the case before us, one further seemingly intractable area relating to the first test needs to be cleared that what language in a termination order would amount to a stigma. Generally speaking, when a probationer's appointment is terminated, it means that the probationer's is unfit for the job, whether by reason of misconduct or inaptitude wherever the language used in the termination order may be. Although strictly speaking, the stigma is implicit in the termination, a simple termination is not stigmatic. A termination order which explicitly state what is implicit in every order of termination of a probationer's appointment is also not stigmatic. The decisions cited by the parties and noted by us earlier also do not hold so. In order to amount to a stigma, the order must be in a language which imputes something over and above mere unsuit ability for the job. In the case of Krishnadev Rai Education Trust versus L.A. Balakrishna reported in 2001-9 SCC 319, the services of Respondent Assistant Professor were terminated on the ground that his job proficiency was not up to the mark. This court held that merely a mention in the order by the employer that the services of the employee are not found to be satisfactory would not tantamount to the order being a stigmatic one. The court held in para 5 thus there can be no manner of doubt that the employer is entitled to engage the services of a person on probation. During the period of probation, the suitability of the recruit appointee has to be seen. If his services are not satisfactory, which means that he is not suitable for the job, then the employer has a right to terminate the services as a reason thereof. If the termination during probationary period is without any reason, perhaps such an order would be sought to be challenged on the ground of being arbitrary. Therefore, normally services of an employee on probation would be terminated when 
he is found not to be suitable for the job for which he was engaged without assigning any reason if the order on the face of it states that his services are being terminated because his performance is not satisfactory the employer runs the risk of the allegation being made that the order itself cast a stigma we do not say that such a contention will succeed normally therefore it is preferred that the order itself does not mention the reason why the services are being terminated thank you